Thank you very much. Um, it's just on my Facebook a minute ago and I saw my friend posted a link up of some Jimmy Choo shoes which are really good at the moment so I'm a little bit anxious to finish up here and go home and purchase these shoes at the moment. But this is what we're looking at. The marketer is finding that we are living our lives on social media. What do I mean? We all have Facebook accounts, Twitter accounts. We look at blogs to find out our information. Rarely do several hours go by where I don't check my Facebook, which of course is linked to my Twitter account, and I'm telling the world what I am doing. So why is this important? Why does the marketer even care about social media? Well, social media is having an influence on word of mouth. And what do I mean by word of mouth? I mean consumers, you and I, talking to each other about what brands we buy, about what services we access, restaurants, shops, things that we have consumed or we're thinking about consuming. So, you know, we're sitting in a coffee shop, there we are, there's a lull in the conversation, what do we do? We pull out our phone, of course it's an iPhone, and we immediately update the, our status as to where we are, who we're with. Whether we know it or not, we are participating in social media. We're participating in word of mouth via social media. So, why do the marketer need to concern themselves about this and what are they going to do about it? Well, the marketer first needs to understand what is word of mouth in this social media context. How do we define what this actually is? Second, they need to understand what motivates a consumer to live their lives daily via these social media via Facebook, when you think about it, we are being influenced and influencing others every day via these social media tools. As well as the marketer needs to understand what's the lingo, how do we actually participate on social media, what words do we use, what emoticons, exclamation marks, what do we do to get our message across to the other consumer. So how do they do this? Well, my research is going to look at two ways of doing this. First, you need to research and understand the consumer in their natural habitat. We need to follow them and observe them on these social media sites. And secondly, we need to talk to them. We need to ask them what motivates them to participate and post up on social media. And through this, we will then have an understanding and the marketer can become part of the playing field. They can be an influencer in our brand choices. But for now, I know I'm not allowed, but I need to get my phone out and I need to update my Facebook status that I am going to Perth because I am going to go and take the nation for my social, with my social media.